Stevenson State of the Art Service Department is ready for your inspections. Volkswagens, Hondas, Acuras, Chevrolets, Toyotas, whatever you have, you bring it here, we can fix it. Whenever we come here for service, the service is always done correctly. We've never had to bring the car back a second time. With 4,000 square foot of parts inventory, 24 service bays, 16 factory trained technicians, we're here to service your vehicle and fix it right the first time. Come and experience the Stevenson difference for yourself. Cheerleading is competition, physically and mentally tough, life, 100%, dedication, hard work, teamwork. Cheering is Cheer Infinity All Stars! Yeah! Cheer! Yeah. National champion, the best you can't deny. Stevenson Honda is the greatest place in town to buy a car. Choosing the right car is a big decision. Here at Stevenson, we've got the exclusive lifetime warranty for a great peace of mind and have been a trusted name in the Southeast for over 50 years. My husband drives the Odyssey, I drive the CRV. Here at Stevenson, you'll find familiar, friendly faces with an experienced staff to help you search for your perfect vehicle. Come in and experience the Stevenson difference for yourself. If it has our name on it, you have our word on it. Welcome back to the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by Stevenson Automotive Group. We're inside Hell's Kitchen trying to keep it cool. Yeah, and you know, just like some of the players over at UNCW were doing this year, cool under pressure as the Seahawks made it all the way to the CAA championship game, despite some high expectations earlier in the season. But the baseball team wasn't the only one making waves over at UNCW. Jim Dalkey hands out some of his full season awards. Last week we had the Spring Awards, but this week we have the entire 2009-2010 Dalkey Award winners. Let's take a look at who took home the awards. Let's start with Rookie of the Year. This honor goes to Stephanie Rose of the women's soccer team. Despite being just a freshman, Rose led UNCW in goals, assists, and total points. She was named to the second team All-CAA and earned all rookie honors and was a key member in the Seahawks run for their first conference championship in school history. The Dalkey Award for best play goes to Nas Brahuni of the men's soccer team. With just minutes left in the CAA championship game, Brahuni directed a goal past the Northeastern keeper for the game-winning goal. Here's Brahuni's third goal of the season but they gave the Seahawks their first ever conference championship and first appearance in the NCAA tournament. The Seahawks would beat UNC Charlotte in the first round of the tournament, but fell to Wake Forest in the second round. We'll stick with men's soccer for our second award. The best male athlete goes to keeper Brock Duckworth, who is arguably the best Division I goalie in the nation. Duckworth was second in the country with a .886 save percentage. He stopped 93 goals while only allowing 12. It was named to the NCCSIA All-State Team. Duckworth only allowed six goals in conference and was the anchor of the best defense in the CAA. The Dalkey Award for Best Female Athlete goes to Caitlin Kerstire of the women's swimming and diving team. Kerstire had a tremendously successful senior season for the Hawks, breaking school records in the 50 freestyle, 100 butterfly, and 200 butterfly. In total, she owns eight school records at UNCW. Even more impressive, she became UNCW's first ever participant in the NCAA Women's Swimming Championships. I think when all said and done, she'll probably rank as the top uh, female swimmer because we've had a number of them make the B qualifying standard but not get invited to the NCAA meet. That would certainly, as far as I'm concerned, put her as the uh, number one female swimmer in the history of our program. The Dalkey Award for Best Team goes to men's soccer. This award could have gone to women's soccer or men's swimming and diving, but men's soccer's dramatic game-winning goal in the CAA finals and tremendous play despite losing CAA Player of the Year Devin Carroll at the beginning of the year gave them the edge. The Seahawks finished the season 14-3-5 and finished the year ranked 18th in the nation by Soccer America. 2010 looks to be a big year for men's soccer as well, as the Hawks bring back nine starters, including third-team All-American Indy Smith and premier goalkeeper Brock Duckworth. The final Dalkey Award for 2010 is for the most well-rounded student-athlete. This award goes to Darian Geralds of men's basketball. Geralds played solid minutes as Chad Tomko's backup in 2010, especially in games down the stretch. He was selected to the CAA All-Academic First Team for 2010, an honor he has received three years in a row. Gerald says his parents instilled him with a drive to succeed in the classroom. My parents have always encouraged me to do well in school and always, you know, let me know how important school was and that school was first, basketball was second. And of course, I didn't believe that in the beginning, but now as I get older, I start to see how important it is. And so I try to work just as hard in the classroom as I do on the court. Gerald is also the proud father of one-year-old Adriana. Adriana takes up a lot of time for the 22-year-old, but Gerald's wouldn't have it any other way. 
even when she keeps me up at night and I'm sitting there at two, three in the morning and she's wanting to play, you just think about, uh, you know, how special she is, um, how much of an effect you have on a little new life. And it's just, it's just amazing when you actually think about it. There you have it. Congratulations to all the Dalkey Award winners. And tune in next year as I announce the 2010-2011 Dalkey Award recipients. Well, congratulations to all the Dalkey winners. I know those five Seahawks who got drafted, I mean, that's pretty complimentary, but not quite like getting a Dalkey. Let's just say I don't think there's a better way to start your trophy case if you're an athlete in no our way. area. No <laughs> way. Coming up after the break, we'll head over to Buck Hardy Field at Legion Stadium and take a look at the roller coaster ride of a season that it's been for the Wilmington Sharks. And we'll check in on the Wilmington Sea Dogs, see how their season's doing. They're winding down. They've got their eye on the playoffs. You're watching the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by the Stevenson Automotive Group. <laughs> 